Hi everybody, I hope you're doing great. I've got a session today, 15 minutes for a client. I'm gonna be sharing distance, psychic wisdom, and energy healing. So the goals are short and sweet, the door is open, so anything Spirit would like to share. Thank you so very much for the opportunity to support you today. Thank you so much for sharing with us here on YouTube. Okay, so this is what you say. You say, hi Abby, I'm completely open. I'd love to receive a message of any kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. It's funny. It's like, I'd love to receive a message of any kind. Oh boy. That's Pandora's box. <laughs> okay. I love your cheerfulness. It just, it feels like it rolls off the tongue. Okay. <sighs> Gonna get in the zone. Now let's see what the message is for you today. It's kind of fun, isn't it? A message of any kind. What would spirit like to share with you today? Most meaningful message, most meaningful wisdom and healing for you right now. Okay, it begins like this. There's something of a fairy tale storybook um, to the scenery. We're not outside, we're inside. It's uh, made out of stone bricks. Seems like um, maybe where you would store, I guess that would probably be more like mud or dirt. There is a small window. So it, it's like, how would I place this? I'm thinking if you had one of those storm cellars, old school wise, you walk down there, you might store like, um, you know, back in the day people did canning. I, I don't know much about this, but you had your garden and you put it into jars and you saved it. This is made out of stone bricks and it's got that kind of feel to it. There's a small window with light coming in. This isn't for storing food. This is for storing books. There's shelves everywhere. The shelves have no books on them. <laughs> and there are cobwebs. You are taking a look at the empty shelves. That you want to do something to spruce up the place. And I hear a voice saying, um, it's not about what you see and what you think you see. Because the persona of you is saying, this is all I've got. This is what I have to work with. Seems to be telling you, go outside and look at the bigger picture. Really expand your mind to the bigger picture. There's so much more than just this. It would be like thinking the storm cellar were, was all there was. Was the parameters of every single thing that will ever happen, come and go, the best you'll ever get. But there is so, so much more. <laughs> so much more. You hear, you're listening, you like the conversation. You don't want to let go of this space. That's not a bad thing. You want to make it beautiful. Maybe even open a little library in here or a bookstore. It's like a fairy tale vibe. Maybe a small community. Like Jack and the Beanstalk or Pinocchio type community. It's an odd little shop, maybe underneath another shop, <laughs> a strange staircase that goes down to it. And you have to go into it to get into it. You don't just easily see it waltz in the door. Something of a, a fresh new beginning about this with possibilities. It's easy to manage this small space. If this were three, four, five, six, seven times bigger, it would be asking so much more of you. You say, what is the first book I'd like to get? The first book for one of these shelves. I hear a voice whisper, buy a candle first. Buy a chair to sit in. It's like buy a little table. It's almost like um, you've got the bookshelves. As soon as you get a book, what will you do? Stand and read it? 
Do you want to sit down and read? Do you want to go outside and read? So it's introducing you to, um, you want that book, you want another book, you want to fill the shelves. But if you buy these books or bring these books into the space, you're doing it to read them. So it's to think a, a little bit more about the decisions and what's beyond them. A few more steps, you know? Because you do buy a candle, actually. You buy a candle and a book, but then you realize you don't have anywhere to set the candle and that you should have bought a table. But then this frustrates you. It's like... There's so many more steps involved in just getting a book. All I want is just a book and then another book to fill the shelves. But there has to be a little bit of reflection on how are you going to enjoy the books as you get them. What is the light you're going to be working with? Because this is very old-fashioned, like candlelight, and to read by candlelight. It's, it's very old-fashioned feeling. You need a little bit more, you need a chair, you need a table, you need to have light to be able to see, to be able to read. If this is your space for your books. Okay, this is the next scene. You're very optimistic. You're very tuned in with this space in particular. You're very tuned in with your vision and what you want to do, but there seems to be a few steps that you're going to have to take into consideration. And those extra steps might be kind of an eye roll, but not really. It's kind of the step of, let's say you've bought yourself a new house, but you have no furniture. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, oh, I got myself a job, but I don't have a car. How am I going to get there? A bike? Um, a bus? Um, it's like, uh, I get this, but I got to do these other steps to make it connected and whole in the experience. This is a nice message, you're very open-minded. But I'm starting to realize there's a little bit more about this place because it doesn't have a door. <laughs> For the first time I'm able to see that. It's all very enclosed. That's why you need the books. Because it's a bit confining and the books give you access to the outside world in a way. And my guides are talking to me about life and all its reality and material things. But you can also say the mind and how we can get trapped in the mind. And we seek knowledge to work through whatever might be going on in our life. Maybe these books are um, self-help, learning meditation, learning yoga, um, you know, could be anything, right? Um, learning how to do this diet or that diet. <laughs> it could be any kind of books. Maybe it's a really good fictional tale. Just to feel lighthearted and looking into the life of someone through a fictional character's eyes. There's something enriching about the books. About the mind seeking to add new information into it. This could be a sign that, you know, open a door in your mind by choice, in your heart by choice, just open a door by choice to say, I welcome the wisdom to come in and I welcome the means to be able to enjoy receiving that wisdom and to be able to work with it, to be able to see it clearly like the candlelight. I even welcome a door to know that it's safe to come and go from this space, I don't have to feel confined by these boundaries. So it is about expanding the mind, expanding your perception of boundaries so that they don't exist anymore. It is all about seeing the bigger picture. Go outside and see more. There's so much more than just this. This could be a premonition of sorts. You now might be a good time to participate in uh, a local group of people that likes to do um, similar things as you. 
you know, I, I know I've, um, there's, a, there's a website, it's called uh, meetup.com. And it's full of local groups of, of people who like to do similar things. And so a meetup I've done was, was tarot cards. I thought that was really fun. Reiki. Um, I've done chess meetup. Um, and so there's people that like to um, you know, speak French or people that like to ride bikes or people that like to um, cook. Like, so you can find a group of people that have a shared interest and get to know people from your community and get to do something fun that you like to do. So you don't have to do it by yourself. It's hard to play chess by yourself, but you can do it. It's nicer to share it with others, right? So this reminds me of that. This is getting me thinking about that. Maybe that is a clue. Maybe you should look at meetup.com and explore what it is that you like to do and go find some other people to do something fun locally around town. It's enriching your life. It's bringing in books to read. And so the meetup and the group experience is a book to read. You're adding material into the library of yourself, the library of your life. You're also opening the door to go put yourself into those books of life learning, like the meetup example. Okay, I'm going to go play some chess, put myself into the experience. I'm meeting new people. This was a lot of fun. I lost the games but I loved it. <laughs> now I have some competition. <laughs> you know what I mean? It gives you memories that are actually fun and you have some people around town that, you know, like to play chess too. So it, it's like adding material to the library of yourself, okay? And it's choosing to open a door to access it, to gain, gain the bigger picture of the world that is beautiful around you. It's not just the, the parameters of this, um, I don't know, storm cellar or something <laughs> in a, a Jack and the Beanstalk world is something where nobody actually can come and go. You can't even leave. <laughs> so, so there's steps here. Okay. They do feel a bit tedious because there are steps, you know, all I want is the books. Gosh, darn, I got to buy a chair now. I got to get a candle and a table. It feels like, oh, I can't just do this thing. I got to do this thing plus a bunch of other things. But it's not that um, tedious. And it's so dang enriching, you know? And the steps aren't really that hard. <laughs> it's, it's the choice, right? To open the door to them. You could actually be taking in, like I said, advice books, fictional stories, literally in the material world maybe taking in some YouTube videos, maybe going to some lectures around town um, with people who are really specialized in a certain field, come to talk about that in a local um, setting, you know? Could be that too. It seems like a time for learning and for growth and that it's really beautiful. It's gonna add so much to your world. My guides are asking me, so why would the library be empty now? And what, why would your library be empty? Why are we starting there with an empty library? Maybe because you've, you're in a new beginning. But why are there cobwebs? That's a good point. Maybe this is a conversation about how to enrich you from the inside out, enrich your heart, enrich your mind, enrich your day-to-day -day life how to provide fulfillment. Maybe day-to-day -day life is kind of gaining cobwebs and it's time to challenge yourself to do some new things. Let me see if I can gain a more articulate answer to that. I'm actually going to just, I like to taste test these um, viewpoints of some of these uh, ingredients. Like I'm going to taste test these shelves and these cobwebs and let's see what echoes back. So literally, I'm just going to like taste them in the energy world. Oh, the bookshelves give me splinters. They're really, really dry like a desert. Dried out. Let's see what the cobwebs taste like. They also cut my tongue like really sharp wire. It's pretty painful. It's worse than the bookshelves. Ah, so something, okay, so maybe this is medicine. 
So the wisdom, the knowledge, the new memories and experiences are a medicine to the the storm seller, um, the doorless seller, the parameters that you want to fill with the nourishment of new experiences. It's a solution. It's a total solution. That's why it's important. Um, I keep seeing a red book. There is a book. There's some new book on the shelf. I always see it. It's a red book. I'm just going to give this a taste test and let's see what it's like. Well, it's something. I mean, it's also very dry, but it uh, feels like, well, it's something. That's how it taste tests. Let me see if I can open it. It's confusing, jarbled mess. I don't know if it's a math book or it's a science book or um, it's everything book. I'm going to separate it into like 10 different books because it's all just it's like trying to teach math, English, uh, French, um, doing um, PE class. It's like trying to teach everything in all uh, overlapping pages. So I'm, I'm removing all the different subjects. It's very much like school. Feels a lot better. Even clears your mind like, oh, you know what? Things are organized. Things are clear. Things are understandable. I get this. Here's my my gym class book. Um, here's my uh, I don't know European literature book. Here's my geometry book. It's starting to be a lot more clear and organized. You need clear, organized, but you also need the nourishment of positive new experiences. And the exciting part is, is while this is kind of like. Um, a little bit of a painful empty shelf kind of library or bookstore. Um, it does, I feel, represent a new beginning because once you fill these shelves, you imagine all these shelves. There's like, let's just say 15 shelves throughout here, okay? All the way around and in the center. The, it could be shelves, but there's like room for a table and a chair and a candle. And there's room for information. There's room for experience. And so... I feel like it could be a brand new beginning, which you got to start somewhere. And that's exciting. So the bigger picture is accessible. Open the door and give yourself some new experiences. So that's the message. <laughs> that was nice. I really related to that. I feel like we all could, you know, at any time in our life, we need these reminders, you know. Maybe we get tuned into what's so familiar that it's time to just take a step out and do something new add it the experience to our library of experiences it, it makes us more dynamic people you know and thank you for that and thank you everybody for watching and if there's anything i can do to support you you can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com have a great day everyone